<laughs> All right. Welcome. Be cool. <sighs> so, Wait, I mean, to, to everyone else, it's just their normal Friday. It's just a normal Friday. But to us... Let me tell you something. It's, it's no- Monday. <laughs> <laughs> Monday. So it's just gonna feel a little different in here. Not that we ever film on a Friday. Yeah. Yeah, we never film. I don't. I don't remember the last time we filmed on a Friday or even a weekend, really, except for the special stuff. Yeah, it's weird that we don't do that because I feel like it would help us with our guests. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like you guys film on Tuesday. Cool. <laughs> yeah. Like, I work. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> No, it's cool. It's at like 8 p.m. <laughs> <laughs> and you're drinking beer. Cool. <laughs> yeah. I got to go home to my family. Sorry, guys. <laughs> yeah, it's all right. But uh, what you what is this? What? I had to, so for so I thought we use, we've been using our phones. Yeah. So I was like, I'm gonna write stuff down so I don't forget it. But it, we're only using one phone for this one, except yeah. for the that opening shot. Yeah. Yeah. The POV. <laughs> POV your guess. So they're probably wondering why we're filming on a Monday. Totally could have filmed on Tuesday still. Yeah, it doesn't The boys are going scalloping. We're going scalloping in Port St. Joe. I don't ninety seven percent of the people going have never scalloped before. I've never that, scalloped. I know. That's what <laughs> I'm like the most excited about. And it's my favorite food. Ever. Oh, God, you're going to cream. Scallops are my favorite food. You're going to cream. Oh, it's going to be so good. They're like little balls of butter to me. That's we're, what they taste like. We're going to eat a couple raw ones. Oh, yeah. You have to. A little lime juice. A little... <laughs> and it's like a I, stuff. I went to get a like scallop-specific license because mm-hmm. it's just like fishing. Yeah. But I think if you got the saltwater angler one mm-hmm. for redfish, and I think it's covered under there. I think it is too, yeah. Yeah. Because there's no, I've never heard of a scalloping license. Yeah. I think it's the same. They thing. did. They did have a specific one on the app, but it was like it wouldn't let me buy it. I was like, oh, it's covered. Huh. That's weird. Yeah, Florida Fish and Wildlife have the best per like best licensing situation. I don't know if any other states have what they yeah. have, but it's like it can't be as good. It, there's no way. It's perfect. It's just. For a government website, it's like, oh, wow, they actually put some effort into this. Yeah, and, like, with your purchase, well, I guess it's a couple extra bucks, but, like, they will send you a hard copy license mm-hmm. if you want it. Yeah. But you just literally have it on your phone, mm-hmm. pull up the app, save it to your files in case you don't have service, like, when you're going offshore or whatever. Yeah. But there's literally a QR code on there for the fucking FWC to mm-hmm. scan. Yeah, like, yeah just, you're good. That's all they need, which is weird that they can still give you a ticket now for driving without a license. Like, if you have a picture of your license on your phone, they don't care. Like, they can still give you a ticket for not having your... Oh, just regular driving? Yeah. No. Yeah, that's fucking lame. Isn't that weird? fuck. I think it's just a money thing. That's weird. I've never gotten a ticket for it, but I know they can give you one. Weird. It's like you get pulled over and it's like, no, I literally have my license right here. That's yeah, it. front and back. Go run it. <laughs> like, nope. <laughs> We, have you gotten to a bar with a picture of your license before? No. Yeah, I haven't either. I think... No, I didn't. I wanted to say I've gotten into one with my passport, like one time when I was in El Salvador, but I don't think that happened. I have got. I did something weird. I got into a gym with my passport one time. That's what it is. I got into the... I got into the Were YMCA. you showing ID for a gym? I got into the YMCA because it, was, it was my free visit downtown, and I didn't have any ID on me. And All, it's on top of a club? Yeah. All I had was a uh, all I had was a picture of my passport. <laughs> and they're like, "All right, that'll work." Wait, explain why? Because there's like a minimum age e- to work out. That must have been it. I mean, that yeah. is common for gyms, I guess. Because they were like, "We just gotta, we gotta see a, some form of identification." And I was like, "Dude, what? <laughs> just let me in." <laughs> like it's the wop on you mm-hmm. they're like nah we don't like this guy he ain't got no, he's got no papers <laughs> i've still never been in that ymca it's not it's not that cool there's only like the gym's area itself is a fraction of the building like it's small so if there's like 
any kind of hour where it's people that that's the hour that people go to the gym like you can't do what you want to do you have to wait like you have to go stand mm -hmm. next to your machine and wait like less equipment than midway yes I would really say, well in that big ass bitch i would say so there was there's only like from what i remember there was only like three bench press things which is like not that many considering how big of a gym it's supposed to be right or how right. many people live down there right yeah because i went and i had to wait for everything i wanted to do so what is more about like the pool and that the shit? pool and the like the i guess the basketball courts yeah i think the other tennis courts there i don't remember <laughs> Feeling like old school days. I know. I don't really have anything that crazy. That's okay. The Queen. <laughs> we all know. We all saw. Yeah, cool. I mean, I just feel like I shouldn't have had to have gone to work because of that. I know, right? I was pretty distraught. Yeah. What does that even mean, though? Like, why is that such a big deal still over there? I don't get it. I do not understand I, either. Like, we can't, we have no... It seems like a joke. It does seem like... it's. It would be like Kim Kardashian dying here, is what it feels like. Kinda. It would be more important. That, yeah, that's the closest thing I can think to relate it to. Like, oh, like, what is this kind of like? The Kardashians. Well, it's confusing to me. I still haven't, like, looked into it, other than it just being blasted in my face on four TVs at Chips while uh -huh. I was on the treadmill. Um... So, the queen takes precedent over there. What do you so mean? So, like, even though there is a king also, or maybe when there's a queen, there's not a king. Because they oh, said yeah, something yeah. about now the king is, like, the guy. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, she was queen, like, by bloodline. Like, that's, like, because she was already queen, or she was, gun like, set to be queen, and then she married. So, she was the most inbred, so she got yes, head yes, honcho. Ex exactly. And Interesting. Then, and then she married her husband, which is weird that she married him because he was German. And like when she married him, Germans weren't super cool at that point in time. What? It in was like that 14, long ago. 12. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so there was like some controversy over that. But I didn't even know that. Well, actually, no. He's dead. Her husband's dead. He's been dead for like two years. He would have never been king ever because the I, I think the king now is her brother. Or her son. It's something like that. It's her yeah, son. In the family. I think it's her son, maybe. Yeah. So how pumped is this guy? He's, I, I mean, I'm sure he's pretty pumped, but it's like, what? Ex I don't know what they do. I don't know what they do, <laughs> and I don't get, like, our president has a salary, yeah. which is bullshit. They're all millionaires. Yeah, yeah. But, like, you know. It's like, like five. When, you're, when you become king, do you get, like. Mm -hmm. 3,000 more shillings or whatever. Yeah, they make a lot of money from, like, tourism, like, in Windsor Castle and, like, all these different properties that the royal family owns. So, like, any of, they make all the money from, like, the $20 entrance fees stuff, which I guess adds up to a lot. Interesting. And then they make money from, like, there's, like, certain weird businesses that they own, and they make money coming in from that, like, textiles and just just business and like they're just own it i guess i don't know it's weird huh yeah it's something like because i never i know with the russian oligarchy back when they had they didn't have kings they had what are they sars or whatever they wouldn't you know stoli vodka mm -hmm. so stoli vodka was owned by the russian oligarchy or like the russian monarchy like the Tsar or whatever and so all of the stoli sales that would come in would go to him or go to the, the crown and so it's something like that with the royal family but it's not alcohol i don't think it's something else it's something like that but i mean that's all they do like they don't i think they i think the king and the queen can technically declare war on a nation but it's like by the time they would declare war on a nation like parliament would have already voted that it's like yeah we're going to war and then the king would be like we're going to war <laughs> that's what they said <laughs> sound the trumpets <laughs> yeah exactly um do you think it's like it is here as far as there are people pulling strings even above them? Oh, wait, the the, the like the royal the family. family. Like yeah. do you think there's they have people in their government or whatever the fuck you would call that? Oh yeah. I actually think, calling the shots like we have it here. Yeah, it's like a huge well like the people who are calling the shots for them are like public publicists. Like they have publicists that are like you were going to do this today, wear this and act like this. Like that's that's part of being a royal is like you don't like you your whole freedom of like freedom of movement and like freedom of 
expression and everything is gone. Like you pretty much don't have any of it. Yeah. Even more so you think than like the president here? Yes. Like way more. I so. think way more for the royal family. Like it's like there's so and many also s- make sure to bang your sister before this date so we can keep this going. Yeah. It's crazy stuff. Yeah. Like so so much it, it's all it's all just tradition. It's like all this traditional like routine stuff they've been doing forever. So it's like you have to do this and this and this and this. You can't do this or it's going to con- counter contradict this tradition we have. How many how many do you think have come out of the womb like down syndrome and they just kept them away from people? Probably so, a, like that's not that's like not lo- actually ours. Like a lot, I bet. And then they like just keep nutting in there until mm-hmm. we get a regular guy. Mhm. Probably and then push them through the ranks. Yeah, because like, because they're like not ugly or like fucked up for the ones that we see in the press. No, that can't go on for that long. No, it either hasn't happened, and we're about to get some, <laughs> <laughs> or they're really good at hiding stuff. Oh, there's a time t- time bomb ticking in fucking Windsor Castle. Because <laughs> that happens, right? Like, yeah, it happened a lot back. I don't think so much anymore because you know Harry married Meghan Merkel half black chick and everyone freaked out about it <laughs> dude they were mad they were apparently i know nothing about this but that's okay so harry is the queen's grandson and he's like it's gonna be a while he's not gonna be king it's gonna it'll be a long time before he's king that's prince harry prince harry okay yes yes yeah and so he like is he the one that likes epstein and stuff no no, no that's andrew oh, okay. so harry's pretty cool or they we, painted him to be the cool. We like Harry. We for like. Now. We like. Yeah. <laughs> the, the cameras tell you to like Harry. Okay. Okay. Yeah. He's redheaded too. So. But anyways. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just so okay. Okay. look out. <laughs> <laughs> Soulless bastard. But he married Meghan Merkel. She's like super pretty. She's like half black. She doesn't even look that black. But there were, like, people in the royal family, like, dropping in bombs and stuff, talking about, like, their kids, like, when they have kids and everything. Oh, my God. Like, to their face and shit, apparently. And so they, like, they stepped out of the royal duties they had, whatever that was. Like, he was Duke or something. And so they, like, moved away. I think they moved to the United States. Like, they moved here, like, moved away. Good for him. Yeah. We like Harry. Yeah, we like Harry. And so now, yeah. but now he's kind of like, it seems like he's stepping back into the royal role now because this big shift has happened. And I think he has like a higher. Are they divorced or no? No, no, no. They're together. Oh, okay. And they, they have like this crazy duty now or something. I don't even know. That's all I know. And then Andrew was banging. He came to the States like during BLM and then he went back. He's like, you guys really have to chill over here. Yeah, <laughs> pretty much. It's like, dude, you're going to get your ass whipped. This has a bad taste in yeah. everyone's mouth. You if you go to America, <laughs> it's on site for you guys. It's on site. <laughs> Let's get royally fucked. <laughs> oh my God. Hell yeah. That's all I know about him, though. I'm sure there's Harry's a lot like more. Harry's like a royal red. He's a royal red. <laughs> the, the prince of hearts. <laughs> like the shrimp. You know uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. He's shrimp boy. He does look kind of like a shrimp. Really? A little bit. I think he kind of does. Here. Well, then, goddamn. He, you got to see a picture of him and his wife, because they're, right. they're just precious. Yeah, let me see this. Duke of Duke Duke of Sussex, sus. He's sus. He's sus. He honestly, when you see, he does not. He looks like a plumber. He really doesn't look like a, a royal kind of guy. He's a good looking dude. He's a good looking dude. He looks like a plumber. No he, way he's inbred. I don't think so. He doesn't look too inbred. And she's pretty too. Look, and like she, and she has like four testicles. Yeah, she doesn't look even. Ha- she looks slightly. Looks, she looks Puerto Rican. Yes. But I think she's she's mixed. She's like half, she's half and half with the black and white. I think. I don't know. What do you mean, like a twenty percent black? That's what it looks like. Fifty percent Puerto Rican. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Twenty five percent white, something like that. Something crazy. <laughs> <laughs> you got anything? <laughs> we got an agenda tonight. <laughs> Hit me, baby. Russia retreated. Did you hear about that? No. Russia retreated from Ukraine. I feel like I'm a news anchor giving the news to the audience one. (laughs) (laughs) I'm just getting so excited. Today's news. 
It's what? <laughs> Dude, well, you know it'll always be like that with yeah. me. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they retreated and got their ass beat pretty bad, apparently. Like, they they retreated, not, not fully, but they retreated from, like, eastern Ukraine, which is close to Russia. And got so a port so a a battle was retreated from, but not necessarily the war is what you're saying. A pretty serious battle. It's pretty it's not looking good. At least that's what the cameras here are telling me to, to, okay. to believe. Well that sucks for us. We can't test our weapons on them anymore. I know. Well, I mean we can in Russia. They kinda bit the bit the the yeah, bulls balls know. there. Yeah. <laughs> 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 they bit the bulls balls in Ukraine. Yeah. That's a good one. Uh, that I. How do I not know? Why do I know that? I mean, I don't seek out news. Yeah, it's, it's not. Well, the Queen stuff's been front everything. Yeah, much more important. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, for sure. It's weird. I mean, no, so let's be honest. You know what's we surpri- want to take away from that? <laughs> mm-hmm. You know what's kind of surprised me and kind of reinforces my be- like belief that a lot of memes are like state media. It's just like propaganda. A lot of it. I think I don't know why, but there's been so many memes like for coming from like meme pages I follow that are run from the United States of like just really mean shit about the queen dying. <laughs> like it's not even funny; it's just mean, right? It's like God. Well, I think that is proven that there's a lot of state-run pages and stuff yeah. like that. Like, too, it, it's like someone's trying to get us to hate Britain or something. What's the saying? Oh, divide and conquer. Yeah. But this just mean stuff. Like, no, like, I yeah. like England. Like, the, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll get along with the British person a lot better than I'll get along with someone from Russia, probably. Right. You know, or China. Like, I have nothing in common with someone who grew up in China. But right. Britain, it's like, oh, yeah, yeah. I got, yeah, I, yeah, I, I see what it. you're saying. Cricket, baseball, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <That's fun. laughs> but it's weird because it's just, like, some of them are kind of funny. But, like, most of them have been, like, just, like, ooh, like, that's mean. <laughs> like why where was this energy before y'all weren't being mean when she was alive yeah <laughs> what about have you seen one of from legion yet like i was talking about the grandma in the diner <laughs> no i legion. haven't seen that one yet that one's probably funny that will be a good one mm-hmm. maybe we should make it Oh, you're saying that we should... I thought it already existed. No, I was... I immediately, when that headline oh, came it, up, I was on, like, minute 32 on the treadmill. Yeah. And I immediately thought of the grandma from Le- Legion. Really? <laughs> which, I don't know if you remember, like, that scene. Is there a scene with, show with the angel in there with her? She turns into a demon. Uh-huh. And she starts saying some really, like... The baby teeth? Dude. Mm-hmm. And then starts climbing on the ceiling. Oh, yeah. That'll be another mean one. <laughs> no, I remember that scene. The baby. Team. We can make we can make it not mean about like her haunting the fuckers who made her wear that stupid hat all the time or whatever. Yeah, it could be the, <laughs> you know? the, yeah, the queen coming back to haunt everyone who made mean memes about her. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> my, I mean, my memory could be failing me, but I think that they look pretty similar. No, I, but right. also any short white 147 year old lady looks pretty similar <laughs> yeah yeah they all end up kind of short hair yeah face starts sagging mm-hmm. they all end up looking kind of the same it's like a lot of their hair starts to get curly too yeah isn't that something but is that something that they do on purpose oh yeah i bet they they curl it with curls in old age to make it look thicker so that you can't tell how thin it is. That is totally what it is. It is what it is. It makes it look thicker mm-hmm. because even women get thinner hair. Yep. As they age, they just don't have horseshoe pattern balding. That makes no fucking sense. Why I know. men get that? That is weird. But it is a saving grace that pretty much always keep it thick down by the neck because yep. that's what you take to transplant that shit. Uh huh. Would you ever? <laughs> would you ever go bald, <laughs> dude? Some people can rock it. I'm 50-50 between going heavy into a yes or no on there, honestly. <laughs> I thought I knew what I was going to say. Well, but like, What age would you have to be to go full bald? So I will say, you know, I got that mama seed of fat forehead. Mm. And 
but I have a good shaped head. Yeah. So it, it wouldn't be it wouldn't be awful. Mm -hmm. Also, I have a tattoo my head, but I'm probably gonna do that anyways. You mean like with the, the black dots? No, just like have a piece. Oh, okay. Um, but I'm probably just gonna do that like anyways, and then grow hair back out. Yeah. But also like, it's just some money. No one has to be bald. The amount oh, of people the... I know that are six figures and up in their jobs and still have wear a full yeah that's what i i just don't get that. with the transplant stuff i mean i i do get that people are secure with themselves and they're just like oh fuck it you know yeah. i don't want to deal with it mm -hmm. well it's like fuck then <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah if you don't have to go like and it's not like that much money yeah yeah it's probably what like, like it's not but it's like five it's grand. insane it's definitely more than that to do like because usually you have to do a few treatments yeah to get it to really set yeah that's true but it's like the technology has been here. Mm -hmm. Even 15 years ago, it was here, and it's just better now, and just getting better. Yeah. Maybe one day there will just be a fucking pill you take, but mm -hmm. no, it's it's still surgery right now. Yeah. But yeah, no, I've I know what I my answer is. No. Literally, will go broke to not be bald. Yeah. <laughs> That's reasonable though. Yeah. It wait. <laughs> so some people do look good, obviously bald, but even if you look good bald. It's not so much the fact that you look better or worse bald. It's the difference that the the how much different you look. I think bald, right? Like you don't look. You don't like. You might look better. You might look worse. That doesn't matter to me. I think what really gets me is the, how different you look in general. Because like people like straight up won't recognize you until they stare at you. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, when I go from long hair to just a fade, people. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Same. When I cut my super cur long curly hair. It was like people would be like double taken, like whoa. My the other trainer at my gym, like, was walking towards me and like looked away for a while, <laughs> and then started walking, and then I said something, and she's like, "Oh, I was like making sure that was you because I didn't have a hat on." No way. <laughs> oh, but you, then you, you do always yeah. Like, I am fully blasted. Uh huh. With tattoos also. Yeah. You know. But I mean, maybe she. I don't know. That shows how much we look at hair. Yeah. You know? Shows yeah. how much you just spend some money on fucking bucks. Mm -hmm. But then again, kill someone, go bald. Yeah. No one's going to know who the fuck you are. <laughs> no way. They know it. <laughs> I don't know what's going on with my nose. Yeah, what's, what's up? I don't know. I body surfed for like an hour today. But mm, you're post nasal. It might be. That might be what it is. Was the surf fun the other day or no? It was fun yesterday. That was yesterday? Yeah, I was like waist high. Yeah. Rib high, maybe. I wasn't so goddamn hungover. Yeah. I just had to sleep. It was, uh, I mean, you didn't miss that much. Yeah, Steve it pretty was, much said don't go. It was surf. That's the thing. Which has, <laughs> there has been nothing. I know. I don't remember a flash. Is it song. almost a record? I, it's gotta be. Because I feel like I, I had, I didn't, I didn't even know how to surf. I was out there just splashing <laughs> around like this is so ridiculous. Imagine if we would have gone to like El Sal this year. I know. Everyone dies. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> I, forgot to, yeah I forgot how to breathe. <laughs> so we're scalloping. We're <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just getting a scallop. All we can do is float <laughs> in two feet of water. Uh huh. Any we can deeper? snorkel in two feet of water. This is training for next year. Any deeper and I'm out. Yeah. Is it sand bottom? No. What is it? It's. Have I not. Oh, I can't. I'm going to show you so many videos. Wait, there's a beach in Florida that's not sand bottom, is what you're telling me? No, I mean, it's not reef, but it's like grass. Oh, it's okay. like the sound. I was, I was about I'm to like freak out. This side of the sound. Yeah. Okay. That's not that bad. Yeah, no, it's good. Because that's like. It's like a treasure hunt because they're hiding in the grass and their mm -hmm. color is matches the grass. Oh, really? And you have to look for the. So they have, the, we'll pull up a, a picture of one. Yeah. It looks like they're wearing grills, like Inter diamond grills. Interesting. But sometimes they're facing away from you like their mouth is, obviously. And yeah. It's harder to see them. That's cool. But their mouth is held slightly open, and all of the, there's all these blue dots, mm -hmm. and that's all of their eyeballs. And sometimes when you pull up on one and you get a feisty one, it'll just fucking... It'll float away? And swim away from your ass, and you go to fucking get it. I didn't know they were that sentient. Dude. Yeah. Which makes you feel kind of bad weird. when you want a raw one because you just. 
Lime. Full of lime. <laughs> Damn. You don't feel bad. But yeah. I it is know. weird. I didn't even know they had eyes. They fully swim, and they see you coming. <laughs> I only had, like, we'll talk. Dude, and we just ordered the fucking mesh bags. Oh, we all have yeah. our own mesh bag to clip on. <laughs> so dope. They call them scallops because they scallop away. All right, if that's an adjective for that. Or, I don't know. Yeah. It just sounds like it. Maybe. <laughs> but, um, so yeah, it's two five-gallon buckets per boat per day. Oh, my God. And we got two boats. Nice. Four or five-gallon buckets. Yeah. 20 gallons of fucking scallops a night. <laughs> and we'll be three full days of scalloping. Mm-hmm. So we could, good thing we just got a deep freezer. You fit a half cow in. I know. Dude, yeah. I don't, I don't know what it is about scallops, dude. They're just so, That's so good. They're my favorite. They, so many ways you can prepare them. Always been my favorite. I think uh, we're gonna have to do some butternut squash scallops. Mm. <laughs> try to re- try to re- replicate a Grand Marlin. Yeah. That that deep freezer solidifies me hunting for the first time in my life this year. Oh yeah, you got to come. You got to shoot one. You're gonna be. <laughs> it's so scary. Yeah, I'm gonna get hammered, and I'm gonna be smooth. Mm-hmm. Yeah, dude, we got to get out there before the sun comes up. About <laughs> five fireball shooters apiece. <laughs> yes, pound two in the car so we can get some <laughs> liquid courage for the night walk through the woods. <laughs> oh my god, dude, you have no idea how scared, like how scary I am. We have to take all of your pistols. We got to oh, be strapped. Yeah. Yep, flashlight pistol through the woods. It's scary because it's usually windy in the winter and there's no, you can't see anything. There's no lights out there and you're going and every time the wind blows, it's just like, like the trees creak and you're just yeah. like, dude, like <laughs> there can be anything out here right now. <laughs> dude, this couple that I'm training right now, the husband does uh, only night hunts. God. By himself? And he's like, I'll take you, man. He night hunts for hogs. Nope. Nope, with nope, thermal. Nope. <laughs> Does he go by himself? That's I, my big question. I don't point. know. But he said it's it's pretty cool, man, because all of a sudden you're not the predator anymore. You're the prey. Yeah. It's <laughs> fucked. And he just waited. <laughs> Those things will kill your ass. <laughs> thermal scope in them. That's sick. He also just put night vision on his boat. Oh, that's cool. Does he? He's a savage. That's the way to do it is hunt from your boat. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't do that from his boat, but he just got night vision on his boat because he's yeah, because he's awesome gangster. I think if we're together, if you're with someone at night, it's like it's pretty. You're fine. Yeah. I think it's usually we'll pretty good. straight. But yeah, hog. I don't think I would hog hunt at night. I don't think I could do it unless I had. If I was with a group of like five dudes and we all were kitted, that maybe. That's scary. We're about to be strapped, dude. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I might get a thermal set. Get me a thermal scope <laughs> for two hours or for thirty minutes yeah. before the sun comes up. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Thought I heard something. <laughs> They've got to have thermal binos, right? Yeah, yeah. Just get a pair of those. There you go. Last time I went, yeah, last time I went hunting, I had the GoPro. I was trying to get the shot for everyone. I had it hooked up my phone, so if something walked out, I was just gonna. Teet. And then it would go, dee, 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 and then the deer would run away. <laughs> <laughs> I'd have to time it and just. Dee, dee, dee. <laughs> we got to get the shot and the shot. Mm-hmm. I think the best way to do it would be put the GoPro on the gun. So it's just as long oh, as yeah, as yeah, yeah, for sure. Get the shoot. But we've decided, fuck GoPro. That's right. Unless they want to sponsor us. Yeah. Just get the handheld. 13 mm-hmm. Pro cinematic 8 point <laughs> <laughs> on, on the deer's face <laughs> put a filter on it yeah man I'm excited apparently the bull reds are already running also by the really? way really yeah we gotta go so get, that's happening that's my favorite dude for fishing where did they see them at Gray or no, Miles saw them, I think, in East Bay. Big group of them. Really? The water's not even fucking cold yet. I was about to say, yeah, that's really weird. It was like, 
It was like five degrees colder today, though I will say, than it's been. And there's of, a cold front coming. Because of the rain. Or yeah. Also. But yeah, next month we go camp at Fort McRae, boat camp with tents. Bull Reds. Get up early, Bull Reds. Definitely don't eat any of them. No, I can't, can't be doing that. But hopefully catch something else we can't eat. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's going to be good. Probably catch some flounders down there, too. I want to. I've never caught a flounder. I know it's got one either. That's not something you think about going fishing for, I, I feel know. like. You can gig for them. I feel like that's kind of scary, though. <laughs> <laughs> Eric has a full thing that he has for his rod holders, these lights that just are just underneath the water. You, like, pull just it? just trolling motor. Oh. Oh, it's on his boat? On his boat. Oh, that's cool. Huh. Hmm. Go gigging for some flowns. I've never been. Damn. Dude, you know what else you know what else we can do? We can go shoot fucking ducks. At across po- the street. <laughs> yeah, across the yeah. Yeah. Big call does it every year. Damn. You need another one? I'm good right now. I got about half of this one left. Yeah, I always that is that's the weirdest. That's the weirdest oh, yeah. hunting fishing thing to me around here. It's like what you technically can, uh, like on like my mom's dock, we can shoot shotguns off of it. What legally? It's fucked up. That that is fucked up. I guess it makes sense though because if you're shooting bird shot, like it's it bird you can shoot like if you have you ever, you ever heard of getting peppered? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's like you're not gonna kill no, it if you're far enough. Yeah. Yeah. So if you're down there, I mean, the closest thing's Portofino, and by the time the it gets there, it's just going to be a little, a little dust, pepper dust, black pepper season. Yeah. Um. Yeah, Dave has two shotguns. I'm down to just take the boat over to Porto. <laughs> just unload. On some I've been ducks. recently watching a lot of videos about cooking duck breast too, so I could really get it going. I've never killed a wild duck either. Me either. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. We got a lot to do in the next couple of months. <laughs> we got a lot to do. We got some, pretty excited. We got some killing to do. Put duck in that freezer, fish in that freezer, scallops, scallops in that freezer, venison. <laughs> Cram a whole deer in there, <laughs> dude. Depending on the deer, if you got can it. fit a half cow in there, that's probably about deer size. Yeah, they're small too. Yeah, around here. Shit, dude. Stoked. <laughs> What are we gonna eat tonight? Scallops, fish, or deer? <laughs> duck. <laughs> oh yes. You ever had duck fat fries? Uh, I think at a restaurant once. Yeah. It's so good. I don't yeah, know Dave how. Used to do that all the time. Or eat that all the time. It's amazing, dude. I don't know how the. I don't know how to reduce duck fat. I guess you just cook it and then pour it out and do a uh, jar. Yeah, you like render it out. How do you, what does render mean? I've so heard that term. Like, it's generally like low heat. Mm-hmm. So kind of like you, the best sauteed mushrooms ever, pour some red wine in there, mm-hmm. medium heat, and you let it, and you wait till it bubbles out, and then it pretty much evaporates besides what's soaked up into the mushrooms. Oh, I see what you're saying. So I think you do that. Like lately, because I never buy like clarified butter for whatever fucking reason, and regular butter has a really low burn rate or mm-hmm. burn temperature so it starts smoking quickly so that's it. why people for like high high heat searing on steaks and stuff have to use like uh-huh. or if they don't have clarified butter or avocado oil they'll use vegetable oil yeah. which isn't as good for you but it's a really high mm-hmm. high level burn but what you can do is you get like let's say a ribeye you cut a chunk of the fat out of it and you use that like it's a little oh, piece of butter yeah, yeah, yeah. and then you cook the steak in its own fat Interesting. Huh. That's weird. I didn't know they made clear. What is clarified? Is it clear? Is uh, it it's clear? not clear, but it's much lighter. True. That's weird. I didn't know that was a thing. Huh. Or like ghee, which I think is the same thing. Ghee? Yeah, it's called ghee. What the fuck? And Adriana puts that shit on her fucking toast like it's regular butter, and it makes me want to throw up. <laughs> I taste different. But it's fine to cook with. I was about to say, wait, is it like worse for you than regular butter or better for no, you? No, no, no. Okay. Not worse at all. Huh. 
to buy some ghee next time I'm at the store. I never heard of that. Yeah, just try it straight. <laughs> <laughs> you should. Yeah, I don't like it's. So, I love cooking so much, mm-hmm. but like I just won't buy the shit that I need. Yeah, <laughs> you can you can figure it out. Because I have like three things that I cook, and it's like I don't need it. Mm-hmm. I have to go to a, a different section than my regular route in yeah. Publix. Uh-huh. Like, I ain't do that. Nope. <laughs> Such a hassle. <laughs> One of these days. Cooking is fun, dude. Cooking is the What's the term? It's like a hobby that will always pay for itself, they say, or whatever. They say. Yeah. I heard that somewhere. Yeah, I mean, for sure. You know, you can always use cooking. It's fun. I really want to do the thing where they'll have a big fat log, mm-hmm. and you drill a hole with a big drill bit in the top, Yeah. down, like halfway down, and then you drill another hole from the side to connect with that hole smoke a bowl out of it like you do for an apple and yeah. rip some weed out of it mm-hmm. but you put some kindling into that like hole hickory. and then you light it so people will do that and they'll put pegs on it so that like the cast iron can rest or they'll do a chainsaw and make an x halfway down and do it that way instead of just having a little burner coming out mm-hmm. but then they create a fire in the middle of the log and then you just set the pan on top of it and it has a full burner coming up whoa and then what do you keep? Oh yeah, I guess the log is just going because the log itself catches. Whoa! And then you just fucking have a burnt a nature's burner. That's pretty cool. It's fucking awesome. I've never heard of that. Yeah, we should try it at the, at we'll the do farmhouse. It. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll do we're not fucking eat. backyard, son. Yeah. We got meat, but we ain't eating unless he can figure this shit out. <laughs> <laughs> I've watched three hundred thousand videos on it. I know exactly what to Let's do. Go. I can do it three different ways, actually. Heck yeah. <laughs> It's going to be fun. Heck yeah. There's a regular burner there, too. (laughs) (laughs) In case things don't work out. No, no. Don't worry about it. (laughs) I got it covered, dude. (laughs) That's that's smart. I never even thought about that. It's really, really cool. Mm -hmm. Especially when they just do the one hole in the top. Because then it it catches on fire in there, and it's just... Just out of this one little hole. It's like, holy shit. <laughs> yeah, it's awesome. It's awesome stuff. Hell yeah. Speaking of hot stuff, I think I mentioned this last week. I just wanted to. Oh my God, hot stuff. I got something on that too. Uh oh. Like spicy hot? Yeah. This is pretty spicy. <laughs> Nuclear fusion reactor in Korea reaches 100, and, 100 million degrees Celsius. I don't know what any Which of it. is. Ask Siri right now. <laughs> oh, really degrees. Hey Siri. Hey Siri. Here, I'll just hold your button now. How much is a hundred million degrees Celsius? <laughs> don't you have to say in Fahrenheit? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How much is 100, de- 100 million degrees Celsius in Fahrenheit? Here's what I found. I'm just going to Google translate it. She didn't give me the right answer. It's so hard to ask Siri questions on the spot. Dude, she's always blowing it. 100. It's a lot of zeros. It's hot. <laughs> I don't know. I can't count the zeros. It's like 180. <laughs> it's, nine zeros. it's like 180 million degrees Fahrenheit or something. It's hot. It's hot. So they did that. I'm going to be honest with you. I don't know if that means it's working or not. It's probably not working. It just, I think the reason they ran that article is because that's hot and they were able to contain it. So they're kind of closer to like nuclear fusion just, being a thing. Just free energy. Yeah. Well, yeah, that's what I was going to get at. If they if they figure that shit out, you don't have an energy bill anymore. Or it's like 25 cents a month, which it probably, like, they'll, someone will be making money. So, like, but it'll be almost nothing compared. Because you can just throw, like, this pen into a nuclear fusion reactor, and it'll just generate, like, it'll power a city for a month. So it's like, what do we do now? Where are they doing this shit at? That was Korea. What's our deal? I don't know. I bet we probably already have one that works or something. And we're just like, 
Let them figure it out on their own. <laughs> Let them feel like big boys. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I feel about UFOs and all that stuff. Do yeah, we have a patriot mindset? That's good. Well, do, I mean, it is, but it's kind of a realistic mindset, I think, because we <laughs> we've been around for so. Our it's. I, I just think people underestimate how smart some of our scientists are. Ours in the, the global community, but <laughs> yeah, because if you think about it, it's like we have we have ships that are powered by nuclear reactors, and the ships never have to come ashore ever. Like they can stay out on the ocean forever because they have power. They have nuclear reactors on board. And we've had those ships for God knows how long. We've had nuclear reactors forever. So like, if you just make a nuclear reactor like the size of this table, even a fission reactor, that's so much energy. Like it's so much fucking energy. And then if you the, we had a, they had anti gravity motors in the eighties. Like some dude made one. It's like it's a it's like a thing that sticks up like this spins around fast as fuck with arms coming off of it and the arms have little spinning discs on the ends of them so when it's spinning this way it's getting rid of its gravity and then when those spin it shoots it up so it's just it's just this is what it is it's just anti it's an anti-gravity motor and so if you take one of those and then you hook it up to a nuclear reactor about this size and you put it into a fucking disc it would look exactly like what we see all the time i think we have them and we fly them all the time <laughs> Hmm. Like, like, cause the technology exists. It's just no one's like put it together in the public eye yet, in my opinion. I think for sure we have them. But then you get into the nuclear fusion shit. Like, you could have a nuclear fusion reactor the size of this, and it could power like the fucking like a city. So like, who knows like what we could do as far as propulsion goes? It's weird. Fuck, that's dude. that's the whole thing with dude anything that has to do with thrust like mo moving from one section to the other yeah <laughs> it's literally <laughs> it's all <laughs> it's always something spinning really fast that's like all it is it's always just something spinning really fast like if you're going down the road you have a fucking axle spinning fast as fuck from pistons that are doing that you know yeah they're going back and forth but they're spinning that yeah, yeah. Motor. and then like a jet turbine it's just spin super fast so yeah, I think we just put more ice skaters. They spin super fast. So I think we just put we took a thing that spins and then put other things that spin on it. And then it's like, whoa. And if they add another step. If they add another step, <laughs> who fuck is gonna spin out of control? <laughs> no, we cannot contain that. Yeah. No, two spinners. Two steps. <laughs> two spinners. Maximum steps for is two. We're not doing three, okay? <laughs> We don't know what's going to happen. <laughs> Might solve way too many problems. We need to keep people uh -huh. on their toes. <laughs> and keep them hurting for just a little bit. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but yeah, that'd be weird. Imagine free energy, like free unlimited energy for anyone. Like we could just hook up 200,000 of those speakers and just power it for free. You got to get the speakers, but I mean... <laughs> Slight cost. <laughs> yeah. But, but you don't have to pay to power it. <laughs> I don't even know what that would mean. What what do you think the world would look like in ten years if tomorrow we woke up and they're like we figured out nuclear fusion reactors, every city's getting them. It's gonna be a two days and they're gonna be hooked up, everyone gets free energy. It's hard to quantify if I'm just thinking about like our personal experience. So what our energy cost, like for just living in this house, is mm -hmm. like, t let's say it's two hundred dollars a month. Yeah. So I mean, that's two hundred less dollars a month for us to live. But does that mean like air travel? I'm talking about everything like that. Like the next like, car you buy could like, f like just fly anywhere. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah. I don't even know. Like you know, you don't have to pay for gas anymore, really. Because if you have a nuclear fusion reactor, it can generate electricity so much that it would make sense to just all electric vehicles. Because right. there's free energy right, right. coursing through it. Like you, it would only it would be to the point to where like they could just run a bar through every road, like a tiny little wire. And then as, as you're driving, it has like a magnetic reactor thing, and that that bar just has energy coming to it constantly. 
and so your car just charges as it drives like through magnetic conduction or but i don't fucking know they have it yeah yeah so it would just be that like you would never have to fill up like gas stations would probably go away they would just be convenience stores well when you put it like that pulley it would change a lot your boat big time yeah that's big I don't know what an electric-powered boat motor would look like, but... i They've got to be fucking doing that. You would think. I mean, it's weird that it doesn't just show up on the feed randomly. Yeah. But there's no way there isn't someone working on that shit. You would think, yeah, you would hope so. It's a good idea, but... They are. They, are. they must be. It's weird, though, how, like, the more specialized into motors and, like, engines you get, the less electricity is val like valid like with a rocket ship you're not getting a rocket ship up with electric electricity yeah like it just has to be jet fuel blasting out of the back of it <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> needs combustion uh -huh. that's where the flying saucers come in yeah <laughs> now if they had a third spinning disc. if they got a third <laughs> spinning mechanism in that bitch <laughs> sayonara <laughs> Yeah. Have you ever seen that experiment though where they take the like a really heavy weight at the end of a pole and they'll spin it really fast and then it becomes weightless? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's like this it's the same concept. Yeah. Yeah, I saw a video of someone doing it with like a bike tire. Mm -hmm. On a rope. Yeah. Which is weird that that's a thing. Like it's like <laughs> Yeah. Hey, I think we have anti-gravity right here. Like, he's doing it in front of you. Yeah, 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 Someone just figure it out. And I think they did figure it out a long time ago. Is anti the same as bending, though? Like, bending gravity? Well, gravity doesn't necessarily exist itself. It's a reaction to, like... So the reason why gravity exists and like why you're pulled to the earth right now is because the top of your head is moving through time. Time is moving faster for the top of your head than the bottom of your feet. That's the short answer for gravity. Hmm. The top, because you're, you're further away from the earth and you're moving faster. And so like since it's going faster up here and slower down here, the net reaction is down this way if that makes any sense so in a perfect so world it would everyone's be like top heavy yeah then you're just being pulled down so if you spin something fast because in the reason that's happening is because you're spinning right on earth but if you spin something else even faster anti for some reason it cancels it out i don't know why <laughs> it's always spinning it's always spinning something's gotta be spinning do people that think the earth's flat think that it's a spinning piece of paper no i don't know like or whatever it, like a this. circular post-it note right yeah exactly they probably think it's <laughs> do they think they it's probably like, think it's doing this <laughs> <laughs> it's jumping on a trampoline <laughs> <laughs> or like this maybe well you know like when you spin the pillow on your finger uh-huh Oh, nice. Saved it. Yeah. Yeah, it's weird how that yeah. works, too. Like, you, you can spin a pillow on your finger, and it just... It, you can keep it there really easily. Yeah. Big old massive object. Those fucking idiots. Idiot. I'm telling you, dude. What's wrong with them? I don't know. They need to figure it out. If I thought that, like, if I truly believed that, I wouldn't say it out loud. No. I think they're just... Because it'd be like, people are going to think I'm fucking retarded, but I can't help but believe this. Yeah. I think it's people who just like to ruffle people's feathers and like to be different. I think it's just like, like people who like... Yeah. Put they, them in their bios. Yes. Yeah. Just trying to be different. Yeah. It's like, dude. It's silliness. <laughs> the ice wall. <laughs> they think the earth is surrounded by an ice wall. Yeah. 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 I, I would challenge them, though. Just tell them. Be like, okay, if it's an ice wall, like, you believe in a compass, right? Like, a compass is magnetic. Like, you can't, no one's, no one's manipulating your compass. Just get a compass and make it face east and then walk east until you hit the ice wall. 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> just get in a plane and fly east until you hit the ice wall and tell me when you find it. But then what they say is like, well, the only thing is I don't have time for that. Yeah. True. They always just have like a a response, like from all the, the different videos, like a few people have gone to these conventions mm-hmm. and like filmed it, you know? Yeah. And, like, and they'll like, either. they'll have all these reasons and stuff. And then they'll ask like the logical question mm-hmm. and they're like, well, that's just something we don't know yet. Yeah. And then you're just like, oh, okay. We, we, we do. I guess like <laughs> <laughs> I won't win. So I'll stop. Yeah. And that's, they always win because of that. Yep. It's like, okay. If I thought that every scientist and every teacher I ever had was lying to me, I would go figure it out quick. <laughs> yeah. You know? Because you have to believe you're in the Truman Show. Like, in order to believe that, you have to believe that you're in the Truman Show, and you have to believe that you're important enough that every single teacher that you've ever had decided that they were just going to fuck with you about that. <laughs> <laughs> It's like, who are you that we're keeping this big secret away from you? Like, what are you going to do? Yeah. <laughs> if, if, you, if you come to find out that it's not true. What do you think about the moon landing? I heavily defend the moon landing. <laughs> <laughs> but I will say this. I will say this in, def- in defense of people who don't think it's real. It is very strange that we've not been back. I know, right? And it's very sad, in my opinion, that we haven't been back. Because when Kennedy, when, when that whole thing started, like, the the tides of politics and, like, the world were just perfect for, like, that much, that much allocation of funds and that much public support to go to that. Like, it was just right. Like, it just happened perfectly. And we haven't been back to that point yet, which is sad because I wish we would get back to that point. Yeah. Yeah, I think it happened. Hope it happened. Yeah, I, I'm. This isn't me saying I think it didn't happen. Yeah. By the way, but people like it. Yeah, and like I said, it, it's it's very strange and sad that it hasn't happened again. But now we got two of the richest people on the planet. Mm-hmm. I mean, besides the royals or whatever. Yeah, the Saudis, whatever you, you know. They those don't golfers. Know. They don't know there. rocket ships were. Um. <laughs> you think they would just? Fun? You want to send a crew? I know. You think they they could just do it, you know? Like, hey. I mean, for sure. Yeah. I think we've sent drones or, like, some robots there. But. Some rovers. <laughs> some rovers. You know what I, a weird statistic I heard the other day? Mars is the only planet in the universe that we know of that is completely inhabited by robots. <laughs> Isn't that weird? That it's is true, weird. too. Yeah. To, to the plant, planet of robots. Isn't it weird that we could have grandchildren that are living on Mars? Like, we could have grandchildren. Or children. We could have children. Oh, you could. Well, <laughs> we won't speak about your... your yeah. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Chase doesn't have a kid and child. <laughs> Did you say kid and child? Hidden child. Oh. <laughs> Chase doesn't have a kid and child. <laughs> Don't worry. <laughs> uh, yeah. That is, it is crazy. <laughs> yeah, it is. But, but if we, if we hit a fucking Queen Elizabeth stretch, maybe us. That's true. We could be the last generation to die. They could figure out anti-aging. We could just not ever die until like 2,000 years from now. That would be fucked up. I wouldn't want that. Unless they could figure out how to make my brain not deteriorate, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. fuck your skin. Yeah. (laughs) Just be a walking... But I, I guess... What you don't know don't hurt you. Yeah. That's true. But then it's So if like, you just become an idiot and you can't remember anything, yeah. you might just still be happy. Yeah. Just running around. <laughs> just, just gallivanting. <laughs> gallivanting around in the nuclear fusion fields. <laughs> you, gotta, <laughs> you don't have to pay for anything. Crow's feet, gone. Mm-hmm. 
You're done, but you're be- you're dumb, but you're beautiful. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's like how you could describe a fat model. <laughs> you're dumb, <laughs> but you're beautiful. <laughs> oh, dumb. I thought you said done. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. Like you know, like you're done. Like you're dying soon, but yeah. Well, statistically I guess you're beautiful because you're getting paid for taking pictures. Yeah. Having pictures taken. Yeah, that shit's dumb. Anyways, that could have landed better. Want a <laughs> rapper? Yeah, I, yeah, I don't even know. I have no idea what we're at. Yeah. No one does. Even though we put a clock in here, I don't look at it. Damn, it's nine o'clock. We we probably went for an hour. Yeah, might have. I'm gonna guess an hour and two minutes. We'll see. 59.58 by the time I hit that button. 10.4. Hey, yo. Thank you so much for watching this episode. We're going to wrap it up. We're twice a week. Let's have a chat.